Hi everybody, I wanted to show you a couple of projects I have been working on. I haven't had a YouTube video in the last week because I've been working very, very hard. First, I want to tell you I've decided there's a few things that fluffy women should never ever do. One is if someone says they want you to work in their yard, even if it's your own, and post hole diggers, shovels, plants, if those things are mentioned, run very fast. Fluffy women just cannot do manual labor. Also, the sun is not faithful to a fluffy woman's skin. Needless to say, I think fluffy burns faster. So, now then for the mini albums. This, and I'm going to add pictures, this is from a recycled children's book that was Winnie the Pooh. Inside were pockets, uh, apparently like little certificates, things went inside. Um, I did try to hide that this was a uh, children's book on the edges because I just thought the recycled view was so much better. The book was not in real good shape as far as the pages were concerned, so it was not able to be saved. So I want to show you mine first, and then I want to show you the one that I made um, that's going to possibly be going on my Etsy shop. Yes, definitely. This will be going on my Etsy shop. So, this is one that I created. I'm in a lot of swaps. I have a lot of projects going on, and I needed something to get me organized. So, the cover is decoupaged, and I love this. I added um, a feather to it, and it feels incredible. It just feels awesome. And um, I decoupaged different pieces of paper scraps that I had. Um, this is handmade paper. Um, and it just, it's just really, really cute things. A portion of a hymnal, and I kept it all in squares. I'm not sure why I really want to do that. This was an embossed piece that I was playing with to see how the texture would work. Then on the side, I made a um, spine and added the word plans to it, and I just stitched. This was a piece of leather that my friend Mickey sent me. Um, we did a swap together. And uh, I just punched holes throughout, and I added yarn to bind the book cover with. And under this, this, and this is the actual cover from the children's book. So on the back, I did the same thing again, and I ran short. My son handed me a receipt from picking up gas for the van, so I just stuck it on there. And um, basically the same as the front. I just added different paper squares. I have not filled it up yet, but this is going to be my personal, so I wanted to show you. I made a few tags just so that you could see how it works with some journaling spots. <clears throat> and then this, I wanted something uh, vintage, Victorian maybe you could say, in the center. So I used cardstock and I used a Martha Stewart punch on each side. And that covers up my edges. And then this will be able to use a larger tag, but I wanted to show you what I did. And this is how the pages were in the book. So then I just created some extra pages. And then I made um, some envelope pockets Oops. and made some tags for that. Of course, you know how much I love bird cages. I just love that tag. Journaling spot. Then I can write the person's name on there, you know, whatever information. And I can do this for my projects that I'm working on in my other uh, mediums also. I just wanted you to see how I did the tags. And there's a tag opening on the side and then one in the top. And then again, I have one on this page. Forgive me if I'm getting off camera. I'm still trying to get used to the positioning. And I found these little uh, labels, and it's got who, where, when, and I thought how cute that would be to be able to put the person's name on it. And again, a tag. I think this is a Stamping Up stamp with all my notes and so forth. That's the type of thing I'm going to be putting in the top, plus little treasures. And again, some tags. That over there. 
and I made um, different types of pockets and so forth. Again, I'm going to fill this up with little notes and so forth. The clip for the tag, but also I can attach a note to it or whatever. Love the butterfly charm. I do not know where that came from. Possibly Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And another little tag. I drew that freehand. I was so proud of myself. Oh no, you know, actually, in the kit that's going to be on Etsy, this, the lines are from a leaf template, and I did include that in the kit that's going to be on Etsy for these albums. And I, they, <laughs> these are fun. This tag came on some flowers I got from the thrift store, which I paid 10 cents a piece for. They did not come from Hobby Lobby. There was like 15 of them at the thrift store. So I thought, oh, why not make a tag? And so that's what these little pieces are. I just cut them out of paper and added them on there. If there's, This is a solid page, by the way, so that I can put sticky notes or whatever for the person I'm working with that particular month, client or swap or whatever. If there's ever a technique that I'm doing that you would like for me to show in a tutorial, please let me know. Then I just added a charm to that. And again, more tags. And um, so you can see grid paper. This is Kane Company paper, by the way. This one I could use for, you know, the recipe or whatever. Um, and for grocery list or coffee at Starbucks. Uh, this is also a template that I have for journaling. Uh, grocery list, you know, whatever I, I need to pick up. And all of these are the envelopes and they have pockets on the side too. This is made out of recycled paper recycled plastic bags that I made into paper. Oh, Lord have mercy, the sun must have scorched my brain. Oh, my husband luckily isn't making any comments at the moment. Again, solid page and I can just put sticky notes on there. Uh, whatever I need to do in order to uh, remember what I'm working on. It's so much fun to do swaps and so forth, but you just want to make sure that you remember all of them and be on time. Um, and also publications that uh, you may be working on projects for and even clients. So I just wanted to show you this. This is going to be my mini and um, I really had fun making it. So now I want to show you the one that is going to be hard to part with, but I just wanted to do it in a different format to show you that you could do different ways. So give me just a moment and we will see the second uh, mini. How long does that feel for?